Hey everyone, welcome to another video on DBT. In this video, we'll be talking about macros in DBT. So let's understand what is this macros. So in short, if I talk about macros, DBT macros are reusable blocks of Jinja code that enables you to encapsulate and reuse complex logic or SQL snippets within your DBT models or transformation. So if you see from from the definition itself you can think about like dbt macros are nothing but functions in programming language where you what you do is like all the repetitive code or something that you think that this code can be used for multiple times you just encapsulate that as a function and you just call that function in different different parts of the code right so that exactly this macros is this is a very simplified way of putting macros so uh, think macros as functions in programming language term so with this i think uh, let's get started because once i show you the examples it will make more sense so in the last video we have seen how to create this particular jinja template and if you see that currently what we are doing is we have set one variable as payment methods but if you think this particular function can like this particular variables can be used by different models right then why to hard code here it here so what we can do is like we can create a function which will hold this payment methods and if required then we'll just call that particular methods to do that what you can do is like i have created a few macros here so i'll just show you one by one so let's go to get payment method to sql so whatever macros that we want to create so what you do is you go to macros folder and you create a dot sql file you can give any name here and i'm gonna show like how to convert that so let me go there so any macro starts with macro statement so this is how we define a function so i'll just uh, use function here so it will make more make more sense so this is the function i created i'm not providing any argument for now because all i need is i need to call this particular function i need to get all those values right so then what you do is that uh, you just return that particular list so this is one way that you have to do is you have to define your return statement between these two curly braces and whatever list you already have as you have started macro will have to end this macro so you can think about this is a function that become now how to call this you just copy it here and you just go to jinja so in place of payment methods what i'm trying to do i'm i'm trying to call this function so this is how the function gets called right now what you can do is you can just remove this bit because now we outsource it to a function now let's run this so you'll see that you'll be able to run that successfully now the data is coming from macros right so if you see that how easily we are able to create a macro now let me show you one more example of having macros okay let me go back to the snowflake so if i just show you raw payments right uh, so this is how my data look like so what i'm trying to do is like because this is some amount for each order id now what i need to do like i want to calculate one more column which will have the value as amount plus taxes right so amount after taxes so i'll just add the tax amount there so to do that uh, what we did is we created a tag uh, in march so i've just created in a different folder so i'm just calling it mart order with tax now what i'm doing is i'm just selecting everything then on the amount column i'm just adding 12 percent at tax amount right and i'm just calling this particular function so let me run this so this data is coming from raw data and we are just running and we are just adding the tax amount here. So let me show you how the data look like. So if I go to Marts, I'll just refresh it again. Go to Marts. I'll go to data preview. Okay. So if we see that for each column, we are adding 12% tax. Okay. Now let's think about 
uh, let's say that this is this is one function like one type of transformation that will be used by a lot of models in your pipeline right now what we can do is rather than copy pasting this formula we can have a function that will hold this and wherever we require to calculate this tax amount we can just plug that function in right so that basically we are going to do to do that i have created one more macro so it's not required to create different file for macro but for learning purpose or to make it a, a segregated way we are creating different files for different macros okay so i have created a value as tax now now let's see like how to create this macro first we define the macro block now in this particular function we are having two arguments one is the amount column because on which column we want to calculate is and what is the tax percentage so currently the default value is 12 percent but i'll show you like how to change this value from program now it's very simple all you are doing is we are just calculating the, this we are getting this column and we are adding the tax percentage whatever is being passed right so this is very simple and at the end you just add the end macro so this is all you need to calculate this particular value so let me go back so now as we have created the macro let's go back to a mart folder and re let replace this with the function that we already created so this is how you, you call any function you just define your function in curly braces and if you see that for now i'm just passing my amount as column so this is nothing but if you remember we have talked about amount column so this is what we are passing but we are not passing any other argument so by default the tax percentage will be 12 so let me run this so if you see that this is uh, properly um, updated but now let's see like if you see that just doing that it's so easy to just calculate the amount of tax right so if there are any other model you just plug this formula in now my uh, in one of the model my tax percentage is not 12 percent now it is suppose it is 30 percent so let me just run this all you have to do is you have to just pass this as second argument so this is uh, properly ran i'll go back here i'll just refresh it now if you see now 30 percent amount is uh, added so if you see that just using one these macros it's so easy to write reusable code if you have a lot of transformation job and if you see that they, you you are doing a lot of repetitive transformation so all you can do is like you can just convert that as macro and just call that function in different sql file I hope that with templating, with introduction of DB, DBT macros, you get to know the power of DBT. So I hope this video was helpful for you. So with this, I'll just end this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.